what's up beautiful people listen i remember welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from morocco tv and it's titled female swat team get destroyed at men's competition okay interesting i'm excited to check this one out here what i've got to say let's check it out look there's a reason why 26 of the most physically fit women in the marine corps have failed out of this course that reason is simple when you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman she crumbles like a fucking crouton Look, one of the top comments even says, I'm a retired woman Marine, he's 100% correct. I was put through men's training in the 80s and 90s. I'm a very physically strong female, but I couldn't keep up to the men's standards. Mm -hmm. It's a shame the British Army aren't as realistic. Want to get on there, want to get on there, let's go. Not gonna happen, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> at the moment, a bit painful to watch. Because it's a fucking waste of time, really. Another thing that was painful to watch was Chile's all-female SWAT team competing in a SWAT competition and failing miserably. Vamos! Belarus, Thailand, Chile. Two teams from the Emirates. Oh! Oh! oh. The first one to get wet in the ice bath today well they are stuck in the middle of that zip line have uh, three oh team members God. stranded <laughs> what the fuck are you doing thankfully the water will be a little bit warmer than it was oh oh, oh, shit. oh. It's all going horribly wrong. They will have to retrieve those uh, weapons from the ice bath. All of the equipment. Oh! Embarrassing! <laughs> so this is an international SWAT challenge, and for some reason, Chile decided to send women there just to completely embarrass themselves. I mean, you first see this and you laugh, but then you realize if this was a real-life situation, people would die. Imagine you're trying to sneak in somewhere dangerous and some donut falls off the zip line and just starts splashing in the water. You're dead. When it comes to life or death situations, we need to throw out all this box checking, inclusivity shit out the window. Nothing against the lad, it's not his fault, he did what he had to do, but it's so stupid they allow boys to compete against girls, especially when they've just hit puberty. Like. But I guess they better get used to it, because nowadays anyone can identify it as whatever they want. But the truth is, um, Araco is right, Araco, uh, Araco TV is right. I don't um, see no need why everything has to be about inclusivity or diverse or what equality and all of that nonsense or cr nonsense crap. It don't make sense there are sports or there are things that women can do uh, that and there are things that men can do the idea or the crazy mentality where everything has to be uh, women can do what a man can do like they should just ch sit and take a chill it's evident in the sports or even in the military that um or in the military world that yeah not everything or every activity that women can participate they can try but they can't get it right as men do the exact same thing as sports men and women's stamina in sports is not the same but i don't get this cr crappy um ideology or crazy ideology where people always want to be like yeah it has to be about inclusivity or inclusion or diverse equality and all of that crappy nonsense they should just take a chill pill. Better still, women should stay in their lane, respect themselves, and be there. Stay there. 
while the men be in their lane and stay there rather than fighting for equality constant equality and every nonsense crap it's not making sense and people should really wake up but yeah let's go on does height matter in a guy uh, yeah it does yeah step on the scale what <laughs> no. you don't ask so take it back that. okay i'll take it back all right you're forgiven gotcha bitch what would you rate me out of 10 and for what purposes? Uh, out of looks. Of looks? You're a good six. Oh, six! Mm -hmm. What would you write yourself? You Nine. Oh! oh. Sensational. If you're an adult trying to promote your OnlyFans by asking strangers stupid questions, then... You're, you're a fucking idiot. With the conversations, he and other children Watch of this. color could go to a safe place during these conversations, and that's oh, segregation. Oh, boy. And uh, your son's father, who's African-American, how does he feel about all this? I'm a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. You uh, let me explain something to you ladies, okay? Let me explain something to you. This is how transmission works. There's energy in the, in, in the motor and then there's the wheels and you want the energy to, to go to the wheels and so the way it works is the transmission is full of gears and they're moving and they're coming together and then there's a little thing called a little flywheel and a clutch plate and, and that thing starts to spin and there's friction and as the friction builds the uh... well this is how we feel about Valentine's Day we don't give a f <laughs> it's facts! it's facts! these are not facts, these are not facts <laughs> you know what, these don't touch my car maybe yeah this is not your car get out of here keep your hands off my fucking car yeah you right prick sometimes we need to choose where we're safe in life <laughs> that's a smart decision it reminds me of this story actually take a look at this he saved a crocodile's life and they became best friends, but it came with a cost, his wife. While out fishing, Cheeto came across an injured croc that had been shot in the head. He's always wanted to befriend one, so he brought the 15-foot croc back to his house. His wife wasn't fond of that, especially since they had a one-year-old crawling around, so he moved Pocho the croc outside. Over time, he built trust with the croc. He started slow by touching his tail and eventually worked up to kissing on the mouth. He spent most of his time with the croc, so much so his wife left him. To that he said, I like my wife and I love her, but I can get another wife, not another Pocho. After months of nursing the croc back to health, he brought Pocho back to the river for release, but when he woke up the next day, Pocho was outside his house. He wouldn't leave Cheeto's side. The two were best friends. Pocho would even run to him when his name was called. Cheeto could jump in the water, wrestle with Pocho, and nothing would happen. The two remained best friends for 23 years until Pocho died of natural causes. No! Someone said so. Moral of the story is a two-ton natural killer machine is easier to live with than a wife. <laughs> Brother, uh, what's that? Okay, so this is me and my like second set, and I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Wow, all of these clips to put together is hilarious, by the way. Oh, yo, this is hilarious. But that part where he talked about where the pocho and the crook, yo, yo, that's dangerous as hell. Let me know if you've ever had any animal that be friends with and what was the timeline or how did you rescue um, and rescue the animal and what made you keep or be friends with the animal for um, the duration, time period or time frame you were with the animal. I really love you to share your experience. But yeah, uh, let's go on. Okay. Pay attention to where he places belong in there. I'm working out right here. You want to do that so at this point i'm super aggravated because the sweat dripping in my eyes burning he disturbed me in the middle of his set and i got asthma so i couldn't even defend my little corner and then you all like do what you gotta do what that means sir i would say that she needs michael but because she's a gym donut we're gonna say that she needs joey so you're upset with this man because you say he's in your personal space I'm sorry, 
you don't get to set your tripod up to film next to a machine and call that your personal space. Right. That man has every right to use that machine and that space. And he even moves his bag back to not be in your video. Then you go tell him that he should go use the other machine, which he explains doesn't work right. But who do you think you are to tell someone what machines they can't or can't use? use? Then you go and support comments like this saying, it's because this man is white? Seriously? No, it's because you're entitled and you think you own the gym, which you don't, and you think you're a victim, which you're not. You need to do better. Mind your own business. If you can't handle me at my... <laughs> you don't deserve me at my... Minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. So I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. See, this is one of the big problems with dating. You've got too many below average women with shitty personalities thinking they deserve a top 1% man. Oh, no. That's why men need to stop simping and bring back balance. How old are you? 20. 19. How long you been together? Four years. When you go out together, who pays? Them. Most of the time. But, but I gotta make her pay sometimes. Cause she be making me pay for everything. So, I make her pay for sometimes. You feel like it's too much pressure as a man to always be putting the money for it every single time? Yes, especially at her age, because, I mean, I do make some money, but I don't be making bread like that, so. Do you ever feel like she might put pressure on you to spend? 100%, oh yeah. She spends a lot of money. No, I don't. She, spend, she always okay. He, he thinks that I spend a lot of money by wanting to go get coffee or go get whatever, and he thinks it adds up, but I think getting coffee every day is like a normal thing. It really? adds up. I know everyone's seen the like videos. It's, it's like, you spend $27 a day, that adds up to 10000 a year. I know that. And she wants to spend how much ever a day, so I know it adds up. Well, why not try to make it easier on your man and budget more? Mm -hmm. I just think it's the guy's responsibility. Like, I don't try to spend a lot of money, but if we do go out together, I expect for him to pay. Some of these younger girls are brainwashed to think that these younger guys are going to have money. It's normal that a 20-year-old guy doesn't have money. Exactly. They've been watching too many TikToks thinking that these guys need to have six figures, be six foot. Most men don't become successful until later on in life. And I don't think she truly likes you if she's putting pressure on you to spend money when you say that you're struggling. She's a red flag. This guy's 20 years old. He needs to focus on himself and mm. move on. Hey, bud. She's 100% a keeper. What about me being very disappointed in black men choosing other races, such as Spanish, white, and hey, Arabic, hey, look, whatever. And, and you have a right to feel that way. But when you guys also say that y'all have the presence of a resting bitch face and, a, and expecting that man to kiss your ass to get to know you, it's a problem for me. Because my resting bitch face is sexy. That's it's not. how I feel. It's, it's not. a sexy okay. It's disgusting. Okay, so what about That's what you think. That's your ego. That's what no, it's not. Me. All right, wait. It's me. No man thinks it's that's me. sexy. All right, so like... I'm just saying, you can be more approachable. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to disrespect you. Why? How... Look, why? We, we, we ha we ha Look, you just proving my no, point. No, no, yeah, Don't waste your time with this, my pet. There's only one way it's ending. Cat lady. They're taking the role that girls used to have. They want to be wine dined in 69, which is the woman's place. It used to be the man was like less emotional and less toxic, I guess. And now, now it's both. So now it's an issue because we're both sassy. And a lot of men have become more feminine and a lot of women have become more masculine. I think men just need to man up in general and women need to stop trying to be men. Because in general, exactly. most women are not attracted to feminine men and most men are not attracted to masculine women. Do you say that someone should do quote unquote wifey things for their boyfriend? Or do you think they should wait till marriage? I don't think I'm the person to ask because I do wifey things. <laughs> My boyfriend is the person I want to marry. So it depends on the person. I'm already doing those things. So what advice would you give to women that say you got to put a ring on it first? Well, they will, why would they put a ring on it? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them a reason. It's not about looks. It's not all just looks. Yeah, she actually gets it, unlike the women that say they're not gonna start acting like a wife until he makes me a wife. How do you expect a man to make you his wife if you're not acting like one? Most women would not give a guy a chance if he said, I'm not gonna protect and provide for you until you marry me. I went recently on a two week trip to South America, and on that trip, I cheated on my boyfriend of two years. 
Oh boy. But the moment it happened, I instantly regretted it. I cry every day thinking about it. I love my boyfriend with all my heart. I couldn't possibly bear telling him the truth. What would Alex do? Oh no. You know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> But yo, let's talk about um, this one. I, I understand that in the Western world, it is pretty common for many women to start living with their boyfriend and start doing the wifely things rather than doing what they're supposed to be doing as girlfriends. Even even in Nigeria, we, we're not seeing that. We're not seeing that on the rise. It's not as popular or as common as it is in the Western world, but. I mean, you see girlfriends doing the wifely duties. The problem there is you as a girlfriend, when you start doing the wifely things for your boyfriend, do you think that would make him wife you? No. The reason why it's taking longer to propose or because he's not proposed to you is because, because you're already giving him that when you don't even need to put all of put, put in all of the work. So what do you think would make him wife you? It's just common logic. Yeah them saying giving give him a reason yeah normally the man is the man would know if you're the person or you're the kind of person person is gonna keep for a long time or be with for a long time the man knows or the man would know you don't need to start doing the wifely duty just like how some ladies or some girlfriends or some girls will start doing the motherly things for this man you it is not your duty as a girlfriend to start acting as a wife or acting as a mother lots of people don't even know the difference or some people just do all of these things because they feel some sense of attachment to some of these things and also some of the time lots of ladies expect too much from men and what people really need to know is as for the ladies you're the girlfriend and you're not a wife yet so you need to know your position know your place and start act be act like the girlfriend and not the wife sometimes the reason why it's taking longer for the guy to propose or your boyfriend to propose is because or the reason why your boyfriend has not proposed to you yet is because you're already doing the things for him and you don't see the need to upgrade you yet because I mean you're already doing all of these things with and giving him a free handout he's already seen all of this so what there is it that that you want to give him give him that is different from what you're offering you're already offering everything on a platter of gold for free so the guy's thought is yo there is no need for an upgrade I think this is better it is better it is comfortable here so i'm gonna stay here being comfortable i mean she's already doing the wifely duties there is no need for her to be upgraded to be the wife when you're supposed to be the girlfriend it is that simple and it's clear the case of the 19 year old and the 20 year old i mean um he's doing a good job providing for for the lady but at the same time the lady really need to take a chill pill she also need to be the, the support system for the man but it's pretty obvious from what she said i mean this is just a clip of what we're just saying from what she said it's pretty obvious she's not ready to be the support system she's just there to take 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 because they've told her that the man has to be the provider but she don't know how to be the support the man needs and that's the problem for many people they don't want to be support you being the support those don't mean that you have to take all of the responsibility or some or most of the responsibility that is not yours being a girlfriend you have to be the girlfriend not the wife don't place yourself on higher position or higher level when you've not you're not there yet you've not earned it and that is it some people don't even know the difference on how to act as a girlfriend or how to be the wife or how to be uh, the woman in the house well all of this clip put together everything is interesting seen here all from Marco TV let me know what you think about this I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share I really love your honest contribution you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video